Hey everyone, it is Topher. I have some exciting news to share with you guys. Um, there are a few times in your life that a meteorite will fall in your backyard and you have to go chase it. And that's what happened this past, well, a couple weeks ago. So the videos you're looking at right now show the meteor event coming in to Arizona um, near Quartzsite. And I'm going to show you where this is on the map and I'm going to show you some of the tools I used in order to hunt it and uh, some of the tools that professionals use as well. So first off, this is the American Meteor Society webpage. Their webpage is amsmeteors.org. And on here is a wealth of information, but the thing we're here for is the witnessed events. So right here are the fireball events. We're gonna to go to December 28th and look at this one. <clears throat> here is where the event was witnessed by. All these people are witnesses and reporters of the event and here is where the event was observed in this direction here and when you zoom in you realize wow it's right off of I-10 at Quartzsite and you go right up and it's right off the freeway I have to go hunt this thing so this is one of the tools that uh, we use as meteorite hunters I'm not really a meteorite hunter but my friends are um, and here is one of the tools they use. They have uh, camera feeds here and then different reports are generated here. Uh, Mike Hanke is actually the uh, manager of operations, I believe, for the AMS. And we met him out there in the strewn field. He was the only person that um, my partner and I ran into while we were out there. And it's really good when you run into one person and he is the uh, operations manager at the American Meter Society. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Here's another tool that uh, is a commercial tool. Um, this is run by a buddy of ours, uh, Jim Goodall. This is Strunify. Uh, Strunify is really for the professional hunters. This, these are for people who want the Doppler events. They want all the information. They want to pay for a Patreon membership to get these uh, data feeds quicker than anyone so they can be on uh, feed on the street. Here's a screen grab of some of the information that's absolutely useless to me right now. I haven't looked at it, I don't know what it is, but this is from NASA. And this is some of the information that Jim and his team over at uh, Strunify use to, uh, to create the strewn field maps and, and account for where the rocks may be. Now this is actually the first, I believe the first piece that was uh, found, found by a friend of ours, uh, Sonny Clary. And it gives all the information down here about the event. Now, when you're uh, a paid member of, uh, a Patreon member of Strunify, you're going to get a lot more detailed information. But this is what we used in order to find it. And, uh, and I went out there and hunted. Let's take a look at the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are meteorite hunting. I can't tell you exactly where I am but I am close to Quartzsite, Arizona, near the California border. That's all I'll say. But uh, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. It was raining this morning, but uh, it's nice out now. So if you guys wanna help me look for meteorite, I sure would appreciate the help. If you see any uh, black, fresh rocks, let me know. But yeah, this is, uh, it's beautiful out. Look at this. So for those that don't know, I'm hunting the fall that happened in the Quartzsite, Arizona area. And that was on December 28th, 29th, I think. Um, there has been some pieces recovered. Um, I think uh, Sonny Clary has all, if not pretty much, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, there's the, uh, like a 450 gram or 400 gram main mass, a 50 gram and a 20 gram. So there's less than a, a half a kilo. Um, and we have pretty good strewn field information. So we're out here looking. Don't see anyone else out here. Either that's good or we're in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but this is what uh, Arizona looks like. Our beautiful flowers. Every once in a while you'll come to an area like this that just has a crap ton of rock. And I don't know if it's worth looking at because it just takes so long. You can cover so much ground out there easier. Here you have to really stop and take a look at everything. So kind of what I'm looking for is darker rocks that don't look like they belong. Ones that are uh, either on top or in, <laughs> it's oxymoron, either laying on top because they bumped and rolled or stuck in the ground. But there's tiny little gopher holes everywhere. So what I think are impact holes are really just little miniature gopher holes. But as you can see, there's like, there's dark rock everywhere. Wow, it's so calm and beautiful out here. Let's see if I can find one of those little mini gopher holes. See how that rock is embedded in the ground right there? That's kind of what I'm looking for, but that's not black. Yeah, see there's a little gopher hole. It looks like an impact, an impactor. So you could just see a meteor screaming and right there became a meteorite. <laughs> I wish. That means it'll be out this way if it happened. So uh, yeah, I'm out here with Chris Monk with rocks on the ground. I have no idea where he is. <laughs> he was over there somewhere. Um, this way is California. That way is Arizona. And that way is um, Quartzite. Well, I'm really hoping that I have some exciting news to report to you guys later on today. This is my only day I got to hunt here. I got the map last night and uh, I have to go to work tomorrow. So, decided to come out here for one day and one day only. Man, it would sure be nice to find something. But you know what? This is my first ever hunt of a fresh witness fall. I've hunted uh, Franconia, I'm sorry, Holbrook as a witness fall, but that was in 1912. This one happened, you know, a week and a half ago. So wish me luck guys. Thanks a lot. Hey everyone, we are checking in right now with the freshest meteorite recovery in the world. Roberto Vargas, you just got back from my backyard, Quartzsite, Arizona. Tell yes, us. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I spent uh, three days there. I did not find anything, but even the skunking is a good time uh, mm -hmm. because you get to hang out with a bunch of meteorite hunters. And when you're in the field, you get exclusive opportunities to purchase the freshest fall. Yes, and that's what, that's, that's what we did. Wow. And this is my end piece for my personal collection. Uh, it's Let, let's go back one second. Um, Roberto, uh, when did this? Yes, oh, when did this fall? Look at that line of uh low lines. When, when did this yeah. fall? So, this fell uh December 29th, 2023, so 12 days ago, or yeah, 13 days ago. Uh, it was found initially found by Sonny Clary and Terry Scott, both uh, Sonny's from Nevada, and I don't really know where Terry's from. Uh, but this piece was the second stone, was a piece of the second stone that was found, and it was found by Terry Scott on New Year's Day. Wow. And it's on beautiful this on the time, outside, but what? We've got this inclusion. No idea what it is, but I will be talking to Dr. Lawrence Garvey to see if he wants to take a look at that. That is fantastic, man. Wow. Yeah, I we were just sitting here hanging out and you were showing that. And I'm like, wait a second. This is the world's freshest meteorite recovery. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to record it. Look at that thing. It's mm -hmm. beautiful, dude. 
Yeah, a little, little six gram ender for the uh, for the personal collection. That's a little uh, quartzite sand with a little mm-hmm. cactus bone. Not much. Of this been, not much of this has been found though. No, four four or five stones, half, under a half a kilo, I think. Wow. And I actually spent um, a Sunday out there with Chris Monk of Rocks on the Ground looking for rocks on the ground. We found lots of them. They were the wrong rocks. They were all terrestrials. And we walked about 7.2 miles through the desert. And that's like walking 412 miles on land. So <laughs> thanks, Roberto, for checking in. We appreciate it, man. Take care.